All right, so right here before the bell, what we want to do is inside of our brick collision code, all right, just grab, we want to grab this heading right here. So from the, from the paddle collision, you want to grab the first heading, which is the 360 minus. Okay, whoops, I snapped that in there. I didn't want to snap that in there. Yep, you need the heading, uh, just the heading. You're going to pop that on underneath visible. Okay, you don't need to change anything else because other is the ball. All right. And by making this one adjustment, by adding this to the brick collision code, all right, then that is everything you need. They should. Yep, looks like my app reset. Yep. Oh, that's right. We got to do a brick visibility. Okay. I'll, I'll add, that's also a super simple bit of code here. Uh, but now, um, if you do that, you, you change the heading, then that's going to bounce the ball off the bricks. Boop. Well, it kind of worked. That was weird that it didn't just... Okay, well, so there's a bug. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't know why that one... Oh, you know what? It hit it just at the right angle because it detected the hit on the side instead of on the bottom. All right, well, there we go. Um, the last thing that you would want to do, guys, if you could, please. Um, I got five minutes still. The last thing that you would want to do here um, is to reset the visibility of the blocks. It's super easy to do. You just need to put a for each block loop in, just like the one we got down here. Okay. And you just set the visibility of the blocks. Uh, to uh, true. So picture, uh, visibility, true. If you do this, if you do this at the beginning of create level, then that will allow the reset button to work properly. And it'll, it'll put all the blocks back on when you hit the reset button. So it's just a little for each loop. Whoops. Just a little for each loop here that you do right at the beginning of create level. All right. And this will reset the block to visible now that we're breaking them.